Finally, for the exam, you want to know um, what diagnostic efficiency means. It's also known as diagnostic accuracy and refers to the ability of a test to accurately distinguish between people who do and do not have a disorder. The data needed to evaluate diagnostic efficiency are collected from a sample of individuals who have already been identified by an established procedure as having or not having the disorder. As an example, assume that a new screening test designed to identify people who meet the diagnostic criteria for major depressive disorder was administered to a sample of 150 clinic clients who have either been found to meet or not meet the DSM diagnostic criteria for this disorder using an established procedure. The data obtained from the sample are listed in the slide. For the exam, you want to be familiar with the definitions of true positives, false positives, true negatives, and false negatives. True positives are individuals who are identified by the screening test as having the disorder and in fact do have the disorder while false positives are individuals who are identified by the screening test as having the disorder, but in fact do not have the disorder. In contrast, true negatives are individuals who are identified by the screening test as not having the disorder and in fact don't have the disorder, while false negatives are individuals who are identified by the screening test as not having the disorder, but in fact do have the disorder. You also want to be familiar with sensitivity and specificity, which are indicators of diagnostic efficiency. And for the exam, you want to know what they mean and how to calculate them when given information like the information in the slide. Sensitivity is the proportion of people with the disorder who are correctly identified by the test as having the disorder. It's calculated by dividing the true positives by the true positives plus the false negatives. For the data in the slide, the screening test sensitivity is 40 divided by the sum of 40 plus 10, which is 0.80. This means that for people who have the disorder, there's an 80% chance that the results of the screening test will be positive. Specificity is the proportion of people without the disorder who are correctly identified by the test as not having the disorder. It's calculated by dividing the true negatives by the true negatives plus the false positives. The screening test specificity is 75 divided by the sum of 75 plus 25, which is 0.75. This means that for people who do not have the disorder, there's a 75% chance that the results of the screening test will be negative. 